Hello, it's Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Is it possible to live in peace? I mean, no matter how difficult the circumstances, is it possible to get beyond positive thinking, willpower, and self-help courses and be, I mean, completely free of fear, toxic emotions, addictions, and all soul ties? There is really total freedom, total peace available supernaturally. And my guests have taught thousands amazingly so quickly how to move in this supernatural arena. Next. <laughs> Most people believe God, repeat the promises of God, and don't have the results that they expect. Is there something missing? And you, too, have taught me and thousands of other people how to pray from the heart. To me, that is the missing ingredient yes. with most believers. Absolutely. Uh, Jennifer, there's a subject that you hear a lot about, and it's soul ties. Right. But soul ties are, uh, we think in terms of a sexual attraction, a man towards a woman, mm -hmm. uh, that's soul tie. But it's more in the, than even the sexual arena. Right. What, what does that mean? Well, a soul tie means there's an emotional connection. And soul ties can be good or bad, godly or ungodly, clean or unclean. The ingredient that makes a soul tie bad and even gives it demonic help is if there is lust involved. Dennis, give me uh, a, a real life example of someone you helped with a soul tie. I can give you um, the one that comes to mind immediately is uh, a man who is saying, uh, it was non sexual, he says, I have this. I, I've just got to get ministry. I've got this uh, hard, difficult relationship with my mother. It's like she interferes with our marriage in the sense that she's calling all the shots. And I, as much as I know better, I can't stop from letting her run the show. And so I had him pray in my office. And when he got free, I could discern his spirit that it was free. But he said, I feel like something broke. His phone rang immediately, and it was his mother, and says, why have you cut me off? I know it. And that brought in another important truth. When there's demonic activity with a soul tie, yes, it starts out emotional, and but that demonic activity is like an invisible umbilical cord that, that connects, and it's like looking for a connection. And if you've got unresolved needs that you're not letting God meet that need, you're, you're finding some other way, that thing's going to connect. Uh, I've had uh, another one was even a pastor who said he had married, happily married, ran into a childhood sweetheart, hadn't seen her for 10 years. And instantly he scared himself that the attraction was so strong. He, this was a happily married man. It was so strong. But it was so strong, he called me up and he said, you know what, I want, I want someone to pray with me on this. He said, I, I, I frightened myself. I ran into her, I haven't seen her in 10 years. So he thought it was pull. over, but it was just like yeah. he hadn't missed a beat. Exactly. And he, he was surprised. And you prayed with him, and he was free of that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he got free, but he was shocked. The part he was shocked about was that was 10 years ago. Time makes no difference if you don't know how to break the attachment. Right. You can try, 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 but it really has to be a spiritual disengagement, so to speak, that has to be severed, that, that umbilical cord. And it doesn't have to take a long period of time. Once you know how to do it, it can be just about instant. Yes. But they just have to be able to identify it. And a lot of times it takes um, an old connection 
now we're talking people connections, but it can go it can go into so many areas that I'm seeing it rob people of their destiny. That's what really troubles me. It's because it's the counterfeit to proper relationships with people, places, or things. And then you have people forming relationships with other people to get an emotional need met, and they're actually using and manipulating another person and Lo and behold, the, the person they're attached to is using them. So that is getting to be very, very common. God wants to put relationships together. He doesn't want us using people to meet our needs. In other words, one of the things that we saw that was important is most professional men, uh, even in the secular realm, if you were a doctor, a lawyer, a uh, uh, pastor, counselor, pastor, counselor and if you looked at your uh, your bookings for the day and you saw, oh, I've got Ralph at nine, I got so and so at ten, I got I got Sally at eleven. If there was even a mild emotional stimulation, you sh they should all be treated neutral. They're clients. To get excited over one appointment over the other ones should be a red flag saying, there's there's something here that I need to put my guard up and and take it to the Lord. I, you know, I meet so many believers, this is related, that are, for lack of better words, emotionally crippled, and as a result, they sabotage themselves their whole life, and they don't even realize that they're doing it, and they have such potential. If they could just clear up that baggage they're carrying along with their emotional issues, and I find this Almost everyone is dealing with this. But when we come back, I want to find out the most important key for total freedom. Be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural! Hello, YouTube, Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. Well, Dennis, you were giving some examples of soul ties, uh, but uh, early on you said soul ties are not confined to the sexual arena. It could be agendas, places, and things. Yes. Uh, give me a concrete example, Jennifer. Okay, we knew a woman who left her husband and moved to Florida because she had to live in Florida, and he couldn't find a job in Florida. So she wanted that so much that she left him, because she had an emotional attachment to living in Florida. Anything that you want that you let, can't let go of, it could be a career, it could be, uh, oh, um, food, it could be shopping, it could be workaholism. It could be anything that you're drawn to that you can't let go of, and it's unnatural. That's the real key. And it could be an addiction. It could be an addiction, right, yes. Mm -hmm. Right, it starts with the craving, but it can go, you can take it as far as you want. And what have you found with all of your experience as the major key for freedom? The major key for freedom, of course, is going to God, and not just praying prayers to God, but going down to your spirit where Jesus indwells you and relying on His power. That's the major key. And then the keys added to that is relying on Him for forgiveness, relying on Him for cleansing, but it has to be a matter of the heart. You can't just say words. All right, so Dennis, give me some examples. Uh, well, I've seen... Uh, kind of an agenda, but this uh, pastor said, I, uh, I have this young girl that's really gifted, but I can't get through. Again, gifted, but I can't get through. She insists, uh, she was a single uh, parent, she insists on having a father for this child, and she sounded like a broken record. I've got to have a father for my son. I've got to have a father for my son. I've got to have a... She wouldn't listen to us. She wouldn't listen to reason. This, this shows the consequence when you won't deal with it. 
And uh, she ends up saying, the first man that shows me interest, I just know, I just know he's going to be my husband and he's going to be a father to my, uh, she wanted a father more than she wanted a husband, uh, to my child. The first man that showed her interest was schizophrenic, on drugs, and thought he was Jesus. And she got involved with him, married him, and ended up, this is the interesting part, losing custody of that child that she had to have a father for. That's when you won't listen. That's, that's, that's just one of the examples when you won't listen. Um, the, other, uh, the other example where they wouldn't listen was from uh, two different areas. Uh, a young man was calling about struggling with pornography. And I thought it was interesting. He called it an unnatural drivenness toward it. And it's wrong. And he said, would you show me how to get rid of it? And what I found was one of the keys, and we'll, we'll talk about this later in detail. Now, by the way, that is supposed to be one of the strongest addictions to get free from. Exactly. And he did wonderful, but here's, here's one of the keys. Um, and that was most people deal with guilt or shame for their behavior, when they know it's sinful and when they want to deal with it. They deal with guilt and shame, but they never deal with the lust behind it, which was the hook that initially got it. When you can get that neutralized by the presence of God on the inside, you've got it at its core, and you break the power of the craving, the lust, the excitement, uh, depending on whether it's a person, place, or thing. Now, you you think it, of lust, still lust again in the sexual arena, no, but it could no, be in no. any of those. Any, any yes. arena. Lust mm -hmm. uh, gives birth and it grows and it becomes a killer, whether it's attached to a person, place, or thing. Uh, lust is an inner excitement. The thing is that lust gives ground to a seducing spirit. And again, here's the important thing. Well, you say, oh, I'm not dealing with pornography. So maybe it's another addiction, TV, food, whatever. At the end of this program, I'm going to have Drs. Dennis and Jennifer Clark share a special mentoring session on our ISN network. I want them to equip you on how to hear and pray from your spirit. Few believers understand this. Log on to SidRoth.org to watch. Now, these toxic emotions, they'll sabotage your entire life sabotage your intimacy with God and destroy your destiny. Do you want to deal with it or you want to keep walking around that same mountain for 40 years? Next, be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get Drs. Dennis and Jennifer Clark's brand new book, Breaking Soul Ties, and their powerful four-part audio CD teaching and application guide, Healing from Toxic Relationships, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9608. Through their powerful brand new book, Breaking Soul Ties, Dennis and Jennifer Clark combine their psychological expertise with a biblical framework for spiritual deliverance. Through this book, you will receive freedom from the roots of toxic relationships. Make the connections between your habit patterns and soul ties. Unearth the root causes of emotional and behavioral issues. Identify specific soul ties that might be operating in your life. Break free from relational soul attachments created through sexual and emotional intimacy. Receive deliverance from soul bondages. Remap your brain once these bondages are broken. We saw people caught up in soul ties that were a total distraction and kept them in bondage from receiving really all of the promises that God has for them. Through Drs. Dennis and Jennifer Clark's four-part audio CD series and application guide, Healing from Toxic Relationships, you will understand the difference between godly and ungodly soul ties. Discover how the enemy ensnares us through habits, soul ties, lust, and addictions. Learn how brain traps form because of sexual and emotional intimacy. Find out vital keys for identifying and diffusing roots and needs that drive 
five unhealthy behaviors. Understand how to experience true lasting deliverance. Break loose from the past. Throw off your bondages and become everything God has made you to be. Are you ready to stop being sabotaged? Are you ready to stop walking around the mountain for 40 years? I mean, isn't it time for you to get into the promised land? You want different results? I tell you, it works. Don't miss out on getting Drs. Dennis and Jennifer Clark's brand new book, Breaking Soul Ties, and their powerful four-part audio CD teaching and application guide, Healing from Toxic Relationships. Exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9608. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer offer number 9608 or log on to sidroth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. There is an insidious thing called toxic emotions and another called seducing spirits. Uh, explain them briefly, Dennis. Uh, seducing spirits. God literally took me to the school of the spirit on it. I was I was seeing people that were willing to deal and quite easily deal effectively with uh, soul ties, but uh, I learned as much from even the ones that refused ministry. Had a had a woman who refused ministry because. She had some strange reasons why she didn't want to deal with uh, lustful issues. And she was married to an unbeliever. And I I think that was part of her excuse. And uh, some pastors sent me another man from another city. And likewise, he refused to deal with his material. He said, I don't care why they sent me here. He said, I'm fine. And I said, okay. And I didn't know what the Lord had in it. These people were from two different cities far away. Mm-hmm. I went to a Christian banquet dinner. Hi. You look very familiar. 400 people in attendance. And I watched walk in the door these two people who didn't know each other made a beeline for each other. And God said, that is a seducing spirit. That's that invisible umbilical cord that both of them have wide open doors in their life and they attract each other. And it made me very conscious that these seducing spirits are purposely trying to sabotage people's destiny by getting them in the wrong relationships. And in in most cases, these were highly gifted people that's what I have noticed. It's almost like the devil is, wants to sabotage them before they walk into their destiny. Mm-hmm. But if they would have opened up and said, do you realize that there are lustful issues here? You drop down your spirit, and if you can feel that kind of uh, unnatural uh, titillation, excitement, call it what you will, craving, and you won't deal with it, then it's going to deal with you. But, but there are other toxic emotions, like what? Uh, hurt, fear, is the fear, big one. fear is the big one, lust, anger, guilt, shame. We call them the basic hell flags of emotions. Because those are the devil's playground. And it's not, it's not sin in and of themselves, but when you feel any of those and stay there, you are an open candidate for the enemy. That's his playground. That's where he plants his flags. You stay in any toxic emotion long enough, you sin. And in that sin, you are giving legal access to demonic activity, wrong relationships. And uh, it, it, we, we've tested this with believers even. We had, a, we had a young man that said, my wife keeps telling me that I have a, 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 an unhealthy relationship with the woman at work. I don't believe that. There's nothing sexual. And so we said, well, test your own spirit. Close your eyes, put your hand down on your, on your belly, and picture that woman at work. And he went, whoa. He felt an excitement that he knew was unclean. So we don't even use the word lust and love because in and, our society. And again, if you pray properly and pray out of your spirit, which we're going to teach you shortly, there's really hope in these areas. Oh, they, absolutely. Really, it's not just willpower. No. He was set free he was in a set matter free. of seconds after. 
Seconds? Went to his seconds. Spirit. He was mm -hmm. set free in seconds. Uh, you talk about uh, how to get rid of cravings and not just shame. Yeah. What's the difference between shame and cravings? Uh, shame can be what we would call a remorse conscience, just like guilt. Remorse conscience means it's after the fact. I want to go to the open door where the craving came in. You know, uh, uh, temptation has to have the hook or you wouldn't do it. Nobody wants to feel guilty or ashamed or fearful, but they do like the feeling of excitement. They do like the feeling of the attraction or it, it starts out innocent, oh, I'm just having a good time. But that's the part, point of entry to where you give the enemy a foothold. So we say, let's cleanse that area out and you'll be free. And how do you know you're free? Peace. Pray for people. Right now, there are plenty of people right there to say, I'm identifying with some aspect, whether it's a person, place, or thing. But I want you to go to the Jesus in you, the Jesus down in your heart. And when you think of that person, place, or thing, that every thought has a corresponding emotion. And if that emotion is, is something of a craving, I want to deal with it. If you feel guilty or ashamed, you receive forgiveness for that. But I want the craving. I want that part of you that feels like I have to have it. And I want you to let Jesus, the forgiver in you, I want you to receive it just like salvation. I receive it as a gift. I receive forgiveness down in my heart till it changes to peace. And it'll be instant. And when it changes to peace, then you can out loud say, I renounce that craving. It has no power over me. And my emotions belong to God. I was, because the emotions were the gateway. My emotions belong to God. I was bought with the price. Mind, will, and emotions belong to God. And I am free. And there's many people getting free of things right now in just a matter of seconds because it's the Jesus, the deliverer in you and the forgiver in you that's dealing with the place where it entered in, that place of, of lust, craving, want, need, excitement. You call it whatever you want, but when that changes to peace, you had a supernatural exchange and you're free. <laughs> You may say, oh, he went just a little too fast for me. That's why we're going to, right after this show, teach you the how-tos, step-by-step with a special uh, mentoring uh, session on our ISN network. I want them to equip you on how to hear and pray from your spirit. Few believers understand this. Log on to SidRoth.org to watch. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hi, I'm Dr. Keenan Bridges. There are breakthrough angels right now waiting to bring unusual miracles to you. The power of delay is about to be broken off your life. Join me on It's Supernatural with Sid Roth as I share with you how to partner with God and the angels to see breakthrough in every area of your life.